Yeah, these two hopefully are sparking just as good as this one right here. Here we go. Ready when you are, boss. Give it a shot. Only on Cars and Cameras do we replace a $250 750 engine with a $150 750 engine. Here we go. What's going on guys? Today we are working on the cross cart. The uh, previous video on this we installed an engine and we took it out for a rip. Unfortunately it didn't run quite right. Uh, I'm a little suspicious of the carburetors. They've been sitting around a long time. Might have an issue with some junk in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the carburetors and I'm going to clean them out, blow them out, make sure they're A-OK. -okay. But first, let me crank this thing up, and I'm going to see which cylinders are not firing. So uh, let me crank this thing up. It's going to get a little gassed out. Well, I figured out that the two cylinder cylinders are not functioning on this engine. So is it fuel or is it spark? I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards ignition because the two cylinder cylinders have two different carburetors on it. And the two outboard cylinders, number one and number four, are working. So I'm going to lean towards ignition since they, those two cylinders share one coil. So we're going to start with something simple. We're going to do the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. And we're going to take the uh, coil wires off. I'm going to put these spark plugs in place and I'm going to crank it over and see if we have spark. Pretty simple. We're going to unplug this. We're going to unplug this and I'm going to jam the plug in the center. So I've got the spark plugs on. Let us crank it over and see what we have. Ignition on, cranking over. Very, very weak spark. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well heck, I'm gonna remove the other two cool wires and I'm gonna see how strong the spark is on those. Ignition on and firing. Pretty weak. Pretty weak. But let's just uh, remove the center two spark plugs and we'll just, we'll just put some plugs in it. Again, keeping it simple. I'm wondering if we have a bad coil. Soaking wet. Dripping. Tell you what, we are gonna air this thing out. Cause I'm gonna crank it up with the spark plugs out. And uh, I don't think there's gonna be any uh, fires or anything. All right, here we go. All right, let's give that a shot. That was pretty wet. We'll put some other plugs in it and fire it up. All right, so I'm trying to keep it simple. The center two spark plugs don't appear to be getting the same amount of spark that the outer two are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the coils around and then I'm gonna check for spark again. 
if it sparks better we got a bad coil if it sparks the same we might have a bad module or something so keeping it simple we're going to start with the coils because they're the easiest ones to get to all right cool so we got the spark plugs here let's uh check the spark let's see if they're stronger Ignition on, firing up. They look stronger. I'm gonna say that the center ones are gonna be running and the outside ones aren't gonna be doing so hot. Bad coil. All right, let's try her out. Please run, right? Let's see if the outer ones are cool. That one's cool to the touch. This one's cool to the touch. Ooh, outer one there's hot. This one's not that hot. <laughs> Just for no. Let's let's run it a little bit more and see which ones are the hottest. So bad. All right, let's check. All right, that outer one's hot. The inner one is, I can touch it. That inner one, I can touch it. Still a little hot. And uh, that one will take your skin off. So we hadn't learned a whole lot. So the inner ones are still, I can touch them. So maybe a uh, bad ignition module. So I guess I'll swap those around and see if that changes anything, but I've got to let, I've got to let the shop air out for a minute. There are just 10 days left in our summer 2021 giveaway. We are giving away a brand new Rascal mini bike kit from gopowersports.com. You get automatically entered to win uh, just by placing an order on our website, cars-cameras.com. You don't win this bike in particular, but a brand new kit that's ready to be assembled and painted. All you need to do is furnish your own engine. The Rascal mini bike is my personal favorite mixed use on and off-road mini bike. It's super comfortable and can really handle as well. We just launched a brand new sticker pack, the certified gap welder and a brand new t-shirt. I break stuff, cars and cameras stunt school. You can find them on our website, cars-cameras.com. Of course, every order is gonna get you automatically entered for a chance to win, but it's also some really high quality merchandise and you're gonna be helping to support some of your favorite uh, YouTube builders as well. So uh, thank you, good luck, and uh, let's get back to the cross card. All right, so it seems that I haven't figured out what is wrong with it yet. Surprise, surprise. So it could be 
I don't know, it just seems kind of funny that all of a sudden I have better spark on the center two spark plugs. So maybe it is a bad coil, but we also have some issues with the carburetors. So we have not done anything with these carburetors since we first built this vehicle. So it's been in the mud, in the rain. I, I, I'm just wondering if we got a lot of junk in the carburetors. So I'm gonna pull the carburetors off, go through them and just kind of give them a good once over so I can eliminate that as a problem. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go ahead and order some coils for this thing. And uh, maybe some modules. I don't know, but you know, first things first, let's pull the spark plugs out and see what's wet and what's dry. Alright, so uh, the jetting of the carburetors I've always been a little worried about, but they are the same because we definitely have modified them. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that the uh, needles are the same. Uh, and they are. Perfect. Cool. So now we're ready to install the carburetors back on the cart. I found very little dirt. They were surprisingly clean. Awesome. Uh, so the filter is doing its job. Uh, but we did find a bad coil. So fortunately we have a spare coil off of the bike that this engine came off of. And I'm hoping- It's gonna be good. It's gonna be okay because the other one's got a huge crack in it. Oh, good. Yeah, so it might work and it might not. So let's get these on and Hopefully we'll be able to take a rip in the next 15, 20 minutes. Power. Power. This one is on this side and this one's on this side. So Ike is almost done with the carburetors. Then we're going to be throwing a new used coil on here and I'm going to replace all four spark plugs just to be thorough. All right. So these two coils shouldn't have a regular spark. It's kind of erratic and weak. This one right here should have a stronger spark because it comes from that right there. So are you ready? Yes sir. Here we go. Yeah, erratic is definitely the word. Yeah. How about this one? Yeah. Uh it looks more regular to me. Yeah. This one every once in a while will look great, but then it just kinda yeah. Doesn't work for me. Yeah. Well. And and you know how when we take it out riding, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. So I'm wondering if that coil has been our problem this whole time. Well, let's replace it and see what happens. Well, no guarantees. <laughs> Did you see this the coil? It looks terrible. But looks aren't everything. We can hope. There's that one. Hopefully this one and this, one. yeah, these two hopefully are sparking just as good as this one right here. Ready when you are. All right, dude. Here we go, contact. It looks better to me. Can't really see it on camera though. <laughs> hey, if you're seeing it, man, that's all that matters. It doesn't really, it doesn't come through on camera, but it'll be fine. Let's just give it a shot. Sounds good. We have our favorite uh, Sunoco Optima 95 Octane, ethanol free, so it's designed for equipment that is designed to sit seasonally, like go-karts. Mini bikes. Mini bikes. Lawn mowers. Tractors. Well, cross carts. Not, not, not oh, yeah, unless it's diesel. A gasoline tractor, yeah. yeah. All right, we were a little low on fuel. I'm sure that'll Get, get us, us going. going. Sounds good. Now let's see what this thing's gonna do. Here we go. Ready when you are, boss. Give it a shot. I don't know. 
It just probably needs a warm up. gassed out it's definitely running better but it still doesn't feel quite right yeah only on cars and cameras do we replace a $250 750 engine with a $150 750 engine <laughs> I mean sometimes you get what you pay for but hey we're gonna try to make it work exactly yeah maybe we ought to spend money on a $2,000 yeah let us know in the comments yeah should we just spend the money and not have these problems, or hey, we might spend the money and have the problems? You well, never know. See, what we need to do is we need to buy a whole bike that's running, and it's just. Want to make him an offer? You want to chase him down? Yeah, let's make an offer on that one. Anyhow, buy a bike already like running, like Primo. I mean, of course, I don't want the frame to look good and and the tank. Maybe a wrecked one, something where the frame is just totally tweaked. Does anyone out there have a 750? CB750 that's wrecked. But that runs well. That runs, that ran well, runs well, whatever. Uh, low mileage? Of course. Yeah, don't want a million miles on it. Uh, I think that one had a lot of miles on it. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't have... I don't remember what the odometer was. Yeah, I think it had a lot of miles on it. So, all right. Well, it is running better. So, maybe it'll be okay? Only one way to find out. That's right. Let's do it. So we got the cross cart running. It's actually running pretty good. Uh, we swapped the coil and it's running on all four cylinders now. So the coil was indeed bad, but we still have a problem with it idling. It does not want to idle. So we're going to check for vacuum leaks because that's the simplest thing to check. Uh, again, keep it simple, stupid, the KISS method. And uh, I'm a little suspicious of it being out the cam timing being out of tooth. I mean, something tells me that, it, although it, it seems to run pretty good. But keeping it simple, let's check it out. I got my assistant with me, Owen Wilson. <laughs> Say hello, Owen. Wow. Wow. Uh, he's going to uh, spray the uh, extremely flammable brake clean uh, checking for vacuum leaks while I try to keep this thing running. All right, man, contact. for an RPM spike when it yeah, slipped in. Yeah, it kind of pulled you a little bit. Yeah, because I was like, and I figured it was it might have been you on the pedal. So. Nah, well, yeah, the engine, it doesn't run exactly smooth. And being that I sprayed that much this close to the air filters, it might yeah. have. So it didn't seem to affect it enough. Mm -mm. So. No, I was, I was looking for a real spike or a straight up stall. All right, so yeah. I'm going to open up the door because I'm getting gassed out in here. <laughs> All right. So we're not really sure what else we can throw at the cross cart today. Of course, you know, we don't have parts to throw at it because we're on a tight schedule as always. But as a last, last ditch effort, I picked up this ultrasonic cleaner from Harbor Freight and I know that people, uh, that they can 
be really successful in cleaning different types of parts. And I know they are very popular with cleaning carburetors. So we're gonna give the carburetors an ultrasonic cleaning. I went to the store, I did some research and uh, found a metal safe cleaning solution. So we're gonna do a five to one mixture in here. We're gonna throw some heat at it and then we're gonna do uh, about 20 minutes of cleaning. So Ike is gonna get those carburetors apart. We're gonna drop it in here. And uh, I guess by the end of today's video, we're gonna let you know what we think of the Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. And hopefully have a running cross car. I believe that's it, my friend. Here we go. You can hear it. Our carburetors were in the ultrasonic cleaner for oh, probably about an hour a piece. Everything looks a lot better. We're gonna give them one more blow through with the air to make sure they're nice and dry and clean. Then we're gonna reassemble them, put them on the cross cart, and man, my fingers are crossed. I hope that our idling problem is fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crank this thing up and I'll see if I can sync the carburetors idle, see if it'll idle and everything. So we're about to find out if uh, if our rebuild do, did any good at all. Yes sir, fingers crossed. Yeah, crank it. So, I explained with the carburetors a little more, but it's looking like we're just going to send it. Wow, that's a smoker. We have... We have idle. Oh, 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 oh. Pull to the screen, okay. Hey, that's a win, right? We'll give it a ride. Let's give it a ride. You ready? Yep. Cranking. All right, man, it sure looks like it has full power. It, you know, it kind of reminds me of when we first put it together. Sweet. Really does. Um, before we took this, the last engine out, it just seemed like it was, it was a bit tireder than what we got here. Although this one's a, <laughs> smokes like a freight train. <laughs> yeah, but it, it does, it dude. It feels like it's got full power. So, I don't know. I think that maybe we ought to keep an eye out for a uh, better engine, but we can cruise this one around for now. Sounds great. And just keep an eye on the oil. So the cross guard has power. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite vehicles we have. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on a cross cart, on a three wheeler, on a trophy cart, and our other projects. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. John, I'm going for another ride, man. All right, man. I'll see you later. Keep a rubber side down. Don't let me run over you, man. All right.